Have you ever wanted to work in a data center? If so, we're gonna be talking about the Cisco Certified Technician Data Center Certification in this video. Hey, Rockstar Engineers, I'm Rob Riker, instructor and mentor here at NextGenT. In this video, we're gonna be diving into the CCT Data Center Certification. In the CCT Routing and Switching, we took a look at certification for a technician based off routing and switching. We're gonna switch the focus a little bit to a different vertical, to data center. Data center is a huge track. It's really, really in demand. A lot of people are talking about data center, whether it's on-prem or in the cloud, it's, it's a hot topic, right? So that's what we really want to understand. So what is the CCT for data center? CCT for data center is real similar to routing and switching. You're focusing on the hardware, right? We're taking a look at Nexus switches. We're taking a look at MDS, the multi-layer director switches for doing storage area networking. We're looking at Cisco UCS, the unified computing system, both the rack mount server, the C, the C series, and the blade series, the B series. Lots of really cool stuff. When it comes to this type of stuff, these are gonna be the pieces of equipment that you're gonna to wanna to understand and know because if you get a call from one of the data center engineers and you need to go into the data center and they tell you to go to a particular row in a cabinet and then you say, hey, go to that 5108, a B series 5108, it's the actual chassis code. I need you to go in there and pull out the server in slot three. So you look at the chassis, you go to slot three, you pull that bad boy out, right? It's a slot, it's the server itself slides into a bay inside of the chassis server. Really cool stuff. Guess what? You take that out, swap out the RAM, plug that bad boy in, boom, comes right back online. Really, really cool stuff. Why is this important? Because that's the type of stuff that you'll be doing. So let's take a look at exactly what this type of stuff looks like. So in addition to the hardware that you're gonna to need to know, you're also gonna to need to understand how the operating systems work. You're gonna be dealing with a couple different OSs. You're gonna be dealing with Nexus, which is a different operating system that you've dealt with before in Cisco iOS on the routers and switches. Then you're also gonna have UCS OS. UCS OS came from SAN OS, which was the old data center operating system that has been migrated into UCS. And that's gonna be the operating system that runs your servers and multi-layer director switches, your MDS. So really cool stuff when you start getting into that. Yes, it's hard to get your hands on this equipment, but if you take some time and jump over to viral.cisco.com, you pay the 200 bucks, you can actually get the Nexus OS image. You can just download and play with it. It's the same code in a virtual machine that you would be on physical gear. If you want to play with UCS, go get the Cisco UCS platform emulator. The Cisco UCS PE will definitely help out with that. If you want to get some actual clickety click stuff on, this, on the screen, those are the two things that I would recommend you go do. I've used them before in my own home lab. Really, really cool stuff to play with. Now, the certification. Let's say you've gone through all the material, you've watched the videos, you're good to go, right? It's like, okay, what do I need to know about the certification? The certification in itself is 90 minutes long. That's a big deal right there. You have 65 to 75 questions for the exam and it's 125 US dollars. You go register at pearsonview.com, you take your exam, boom, hey, congrats on passing your CCT certification. That's a really big deal. What is it that you're gonna be tested on in the CCT? That's a really big deal too. So 17% is gonna be data center basics. You're gonna have 25% is gonna be Cisco equipment and related hardware. 25% of that is gonna be UCS and Nexus software operation. Again, if you wanna get the clickety click stuff and understand how it all works, go check out viral.cisco.com and the Cisco UCS PE on, de on developer.cisco.com. You can go ahead and download those for free. The viral.cisco.com for the Nexus operating system, that is gonna cost you a small nominal fee. It just allows you to download the operating system and play with it legally from Cisco. It's cool stuff. And lastly, we have service-related knowledge is 33%, which is a big chunk of the exam, right? This is some of the stuff that you're gonna to need to know if you wanna be successful in taking the CCT certification when it comes to data center. Data center is a pretty unique track because it specializes in the data center. Where do all your servers sit? In the data center, right? Definitely something you're gonna to wanna to be aware of and knowledgeable on. Okay, Rob, I've got my CCT or you're about to get your CCT. Now you need real world hands-on skills tra based training in order to get yourself from where you're at into a job and get job ready, right? So you can join me over at nextgent.com with the rest of our really, really amazing certification training folks on the training team and work with our career services team that'll help you go through and build your resume, cover letter, do mock interviews, build those soft skills to try to help you get into an IT job. So click the link in the description below and I will see you at NextGenT. Jacob Hess here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.zerotoengineer.com.